Good morning. It's a little bit chilly this morning, but I have an interesting project. I'm going to try to figure out a way to get rid of some of the stick shake. This isn't to be used as a substitute for proper rotor balancing. This is going to help keep the last little bit of shim from vibrating into the stick and resonating. After a lot of thinking about this, I thought, you know what? What if I use something that they use for normal type of things that create shake, like say, shimmy dampening in the front of a wheel on one of the planks. So, I found a good shimmy dampener from a Cessna front. And I have installed this on part of the yoke of the MTO Sport. I took some plastic bushings and milled them down to carefully fit through part of the yoke. And then I put in a nylon thread nut and a smooth shaft bolt through this. And if you look very carefully on the washer, you'll see that it has a little bit of a gap right here in between these parts where there's a little bit of this bushing that comes through so that it holds everything in place. And the end of the shimmy dampener, as you can see, can still move freely with the yoke. So we're going to have to get in the air and try this out and see how this works. Okay, here's our mount. <clears throat> we'll go for a test flight and see how this works. After climb out and reaching regular cruise speed, I noticed that the shimmy dampener idea worked very well. It took out approximately 70% of the remaining shake and vibration that was experienced previously. At this point, we're going to go ahead and make a 90 degree angle iron bracket that's a little more firm and stable, and this will probably increase the dampening effect by about another 10 to 20%, because the original temporary bracket had a little bit of flex in it and could have been contributing to other vibrations that the heavier duty one hopefully will avoid. I felt that using a shimmy dampener was a little more effective in controlling the remaining shake found after proper rotor balancing has been performed because when spring systems in the control push rods are used it creates slop and a little bit of a delayed reaction in performance as far as cyclic and movements of controlling air surfaces are concerned. By using a shimmy dampener, it doesn't affect the performance, doesn't retard any of the movements, it just helps prevent like a shock in the front end of a car or stabilization and steering systems so that you don't have vibration or uh, shimming that happens with those types of applications.